here's a quick tutorial about PolyExpressive. You'll see that I've got it already plugged in here with 9 volt power and uh, MIDI. So it's just normal send a negative bus style power. Nothing happens when you plug it in. There isn't any lights annoyingly or anything like that. But uh, you'll see it come up as a Wi-Fi network. So the things I want to show here is how to use the basics. So you can drag around like that with pressure and position to change things. But the normal way I do things is to roll side to side for a lot of things. So I'll just turn on the auto bit here and then I can roll side to side to change it. That's just changing the filter cutoff rolling side to side. Now if I want another example, I can turn this guy off, turn the phaser on. You see I'm controlling that with a forward to back motion. I can also drag my foot if I want, but I find this quite comfortable. So now we'll go over to the computer to show you how to set that up. Uh, so now here's how to get started in the app with PolyExpressive. So first we're going to go over to, well, there's a few things to check here. You can update your firmware if you're not running the latest one. If you've just got a new PolyExpressive, maybe you should check that. Um, up here, the, you see there's a little thing in the corner. Um, if you want us to turn on, if you click over here, you'll see enable MIDI clock. So if you want to use MIDI clock, you should probably turn that on. Otherwise, it will be um, disabled. So if you've got already something else generating MIDI clock, then only one thing can do it. So that's why there's an option here. So we'll make sure that that's on. Uh, that'll send to PolyExpressive. And it'll come up with a message down here called successfully sent to Poly. So to do that, you need to be connected to the Poly Expressive Wi-Fi. So just look, look at your Wi-Fi networks and connect there to Poly Expressive's Wi-Fi. All right. So let's go to new board now. Here you can choose a bunch of different layouts. These are just uh, starting layouts you can choose from. Obviously the color schemes are optional and you can change those. So I, I like this shape 20 over here, number eight. So let's choose that. And now we can choose through some, you know, choose some pedals that we're going to be using. So let's choose a Brothers and a Therme, oh, which are interesting because by default they're both on the same channel. So let's change the channel of the Brothers to be on three instead. So we'll have to send a message to the the Brothers to change it to that channel. And um, Oh, I'll chuck in something else as well. There's a specular tempest as well. So we'll chuck in a few few pedals. And the polymer also likes to be on two. Hey, two is so popular. There we go. So change those onto those. And we've chosen them. So now we get a board and we can choose where to put things. Um, so this is just the, the default kind of look of it. Um, if we go up to this thing here, we've got different options. So we can change our background image if we want. We can just uh, choose an image. You can choose background colors if you want and um, how wide you like the outlines, etc. It's just look stuff. So now we have a nice look. And now we can start adding things on. So you can, you know, add lots of different Things here, for instance, we'll click, if we click something that's a continuous thing, it'll give us uh, which dimensions we want to put it on. If you want to have a toggle, like something turning on and off, then to do that, uh, well, it's the easiest way is to search for here. So we'll search for toggle. And we'll have toggle enabled. Sometimes it's called toggle bypass, depending on what the documentation suggests. So we'll toggle enable the thermae. And this will Toggle enable the thermae. Um, so these automatically label the axes. These, if it's a switch, it doesn't automatically label because I want to have a little bit of flexibility in letting people decide those. So if you want to set a name for those, you could set text here and then you can say thermae. And it'll be labeled there. Cool. Um, so once you've labeled through your whole thing and decided what you want to map to everything, just go up here and hit send to PolyExpressive. And to do this, you'll have to be um, 
connected to um, Poly Expressive's Wi-Fi network and it'll send across. Um, it'll also ask you what board size you want. So you will have had to you know, print this, which you do by export to PDF. And it'll choose you to ask what size you want to print it at. Um, so if you've got one provided by that you've given to me and I've printed for you, um, the biggest my printer can do is SRA3, so that's usually what I provide them in. But you'll normally be printing them either at A3 if you're in most of the world, or if you're in America, you'll be printing them on uh, tabloid or ledger paper. Um, and that's everything to get set up with Poly. You can put as many things as you want on an area, um, and yeah, you can put things on up and down actions. If you want to do anything advanced, uh, please see the advanced video um, where you can go into this section and have more complicated MIDI mapping. If you have any questions, just give me a yell.